This house was originally the bunkhouse for the Swan Ranch, and when they divided the valley, they divided right between the main house and the bunkhouse. So we've got 35 acres with the original bunkhouse. It was built in 1941. It was added on the living room in 1970, and then in 2005, we added on the three bedrooms, two baths. We doubled the size of the kitchen. We put a new entry door, new entry room into the house and a mud room, freezer room in the back with uh, half of it in a dog pen in the backyard. We put a big six foot chain link uh, fence around it with two gates. So the dogs had lots of room to run when we weren't here, but we're still safe. Originally, I chose to buy this home because I had just gotten a permanent position with the Forest Service and wanted a place that actually bordered the forest with uh, water, horse pastures. I had horses and a dog at the time and I bought the original house and started the upkeep before we got married and then we've been here since just because of the land, the views. Uh, we, the additions we put on. What I love about the house is it's a great place for us to raise our boys. It's not down in the city. We get to watch them run and romp around the property. And the home itself has a lot of character to it. I like the history that it was the old bunkhouse. So we've done a total renovation on it through each cycle of that from the original bunkhouse to the 70s edition to the edition that we did. So we made it comfortable living out here uh, to go through each of the seasons. So that We have made a lot of improvements to our property. When Ted and I got married, we started at that point. We renovated the existing home which at the time was the original Swan Bunkhouse and the addition, the 1970s additions. And we put in new windows, we put in new trim, we painted. We did keep the original wooden floors. We thought they were pretty cool. We kept those. But we added new carpet down in the uh, basement, which at the time was our, our bedroom. And from there, when we ha were expecting our first child, we added on three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and really increased the size of our house. We put in a huge master that had, at the time, we were thinking it would be a nursery, but it actually evolved into a office for us, but it has a beautiful master suite in it. It has two very large bedrooms for the kids. We also have a third bathroom that we renovated and we moved our laundry room into the front piece of that so that we had main floor laundry. We had another full bath so that we have three of that. So when we had guests or as the children have gotten older that they can have their own bathrooms, which has been really helpful. We also increased the size of the kitchen. It was pretty small initially. And we added half again that much more. To have a nice gathering place, we put a big island in the middle of it and a mudroom off of the back of it that accesses the dog pen. It's as big as most people's yards if you're living in town for our animals to have a safe place when we were at work and, and to have a nice place and we can access that pen off of our mudroom so it's really easy to care for our animals. We also added an enormous deck off the back of our home so that we can enjoy, enjoy the view shed and we put in the hot tub. And the other features is uh, we have an on-demand Renai uh, hot water system for the entire house. And the only problems we have with that is the boys take showers that are way too long. But it's really nice having water as much as you want, as long as you want. And one of the other things with the house that we really like is the wood stove. 
when it's cold outside and you come in, the wood stove warms the entire house and it just melts you into the couch. We have also, in the last few weeks, painted the entire interior. We have upgraded the fans to make them more contemporary. We've added some tile work in the kitchen and we replaced the master shower. We put that all in tile. So we've done quite a bit of upgrades to get the home ready. The well is a shared well that we share with the neighbor we have who is the original Swan House main house. And we have a written agreement between us that we'll split all the maintenance costs on the well and the pump house. The well is on our property. The pressure house or the pump house is on theirs and we give them $60 a month to cover the water bill, the electricity, because it runs off of their panel. We did put in a water purification system, a rain soft, and under the front sink we have a reverse osmosis system in the kitchen. We also put in a UV light along the uh, main line for any bacterial, biological stuff to help uh, really clean that out. We really like being surrounded by the National Forest due to having neighbors close by but not right on top of us. Nobody's gonna build right by our back fence. We have access to the National Forest where we can just walk out the back gate and we're on the National Forest. We have views clear up into the backside of Rocky Mountain National Park Mummy Range and Stormy Peaks Range of uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. We've got deer that come right down through our yard all the time. Occasionally you see a bear. There are elk that wander around the area. There are bighorn sheep that wander around the area. You can go riding right out the back gate. And it's secluded but not secluded. We have neighbors out the front side of the house and the back side of the house we have National Forest. There's great deer hunting in the National Forest. If you want to go deer hunting, there is great deer hunting back behind us. There's the occasional elk herd that comes through. So you might get an elk, you might not, but there are deer everywhere. This property is a great horse property because we have pasture land the house sits on a few acres of it, and then the rest of it is open for pasture. The horses have wide open spaces which they can run. There's a spring up in the corner where they can water all summer long. There's enough feed for them to, to graze all summer, and it really cuts down our work. So we bring them in during the winter time, we'll hay them, and water them in closer to the home, but it makes it a lot more user-friendly, hands-free um, to be able to have your horses and enjoy your horses, but also ensure that you're taking care of them. So we love that about this property. We've got both aspects. You can uh, keep them in the back pasture. They can graze. There's plenty of grazing back there. Like she said, there's water back there. And then to bring them in the front pasture, the back pasture is 30 acres. We bring them in the front pasture, which is uh, about three acres during the winter. And you can feed them right out the barn, which is right out the front door, and put the hay right in there. It's a nice tall barn, so you can just back a trailer right in. What we'll miss the most about our home is that we have the ability to live in a place where our children can go out and romp and play and we don't have to worry about them. We have a place where we can go out and do whatever projects that we want to do. And yet with that, we can come back into a very comfortable home. If you want to go out and play on the National Forest, it's right outside your door. If you need to take that trip to town, it's a short, little over a mile trip up to the, the road and you're in town pretty quick. 